Today I'm going to be answering the question, what the heck is encephalitis and how not to get it? Now before I do begin, down below you'll notice there's a link where I'm giving away a free video based guide on using dietary supplements and herbs to really improve your health. Now encephalitis really is an inflammation of the brain. Now inflammation really is itself is the body's way of dealing with a problem. Uh, it usually brings about like redness on the skin, pain, swelling. A few examples would be like the bump with a pimple, possibly the, the pain with arthritis, as well as the swelling with like a sprained ankle. As you could probably imagine, swelling of the brain is not good. It's very, very bad and bring, it brings about some nasty side effects. To start with, someone is probably going to experience a headache. A fever will probably take place, fatigued, overall not feeling very well. These symptoms are, are pretty common. To, to the general flu in general. Now, these signs and symptoms are probably going to get worse. Um, there could be a confusion, a severe headache, wanting to vomit and, and actually doing it, problems with speech, listening, as well as some possibly hallucinations. Eventually, as the brain region uh, is affected, a person can have seizures, experience a coma, and, and yes, of course, death can definitely take place. Now, I recently did a, a whole blog post about a condition called meningitis, which is an inflammation of the brain as well. And you're probably thinking, well, aren't they the same thing? They sound so similar. Well, they're very, they are very similar. Meningitis is the inflammation of the uh, meninges, which is the outer protector layer of the brain. Um, encephalitis, on the, ha on the other hand, affects the brain itself directly. So it is possible for someone to have both elements, in which case they're definitely in trouble. As you're probably uh, wondering, how in the heck someone even gets this thing, encephalitis? We all know it's caused by a germ. And this really opens the doors to so many possibilities. For starters, a person could get it through a mosquito bite. Uh, West Nile virus uh, could cause it. But the good news is it's really pretty rare. To give you an idea how rare it is, um, only one out of 100 mosquitoes in the area that even could possibly have the virus have the virus. And if you get bit by a mosquito that even has a virus, you only have one out of a hundred chance of develop, developing some severe uh, medical conditions due to it. So, good news. Uh, next comes the herpes virus, which can bring about it, uh, which causes cold sores, but uh, it's also pretty rare. Other culprits could be like Lyme disease from uh, ticks, the chicken pox, the measles. Um, and even a bacteria or a parasite. So as you can see, it is pretty uncommon. And a wide variety of culprits can, can cause it. However, the people most at risk were people that have very weak uh, or weakened immune systems. Uh, they're very elderly, they're very young. And when it comes to preventing this problem, strengthening the immune system is really uh, the core of some ways defense. The main ways to do this, uh, a good place to start would be living a, a pretty healthy life, getting sleep, uh, eating some good food. So there's also tons of herbs and supplements can really, really help. And um, like I mentioned earlier, I do have that whole video guide about shopping for supplements. It can really help you out and give you some great tips on what to look for with these products and how to avoid the crappy herbs and supplements out there that can even do you some harm. It also talks about some really interesting alternative uh, health ideas, which will probably blow you away. But uh, the funny thing is they, they do work. And it's very cost effective and some great choices, alternative choices than using the course of prescription drugs, which have nasty side effects and cost a lot of money. Best part is the guide is completely free. So why then why not check it out? And you can check it out by simply clicking on that link. I really appreciate your time. Please leave a, a comment with your thoughts and ideas. Till next time, cheers, take care, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.